October 28th, we had our very first real cold front. It actually got down to 30 or either 29 degrees this morning, but that doesn't stop me. I'm going for big crappie today. I'm going to try two, possibly even three places. First, I'm trying the Black River, and then I'm going to go buy some minnows and go to the private lake. If I don't do any good there after about two hours, then I'm going to go try a different stream. This is a new spot on the Black River. I'm by myself, so I don't want to launch the canoe today. Just too much hassle, too much trouble. I'm um, just kind of trying from the bank here in a few spots. See if I can pick up anything. Oh, folks, this is a walleye. It's my biggest one ever. He's about 25, 26 inches. No, it's a pickerel. Oh, man, I had me fooled. It's a big pickerel, though. Darn, I thought it was a walleye, though. Man, this might be my biggest pickerel ever. He's about 24, 25 inches. I ain't got my tape measure, but I sure as hell am keeping it, carrying it to the car putting it in the bucket and measuring this thing. My God, it's a hoss. He's at least 23. That's a, no, he's 25 inches. Folks, that's just my guess, but this is my personal best pickerel right here. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is a nice pickerel right there. My goodness. And I may have to go to the car because I'm stupid and forgot my pliers in my pocket. Folks, that is a beautiful pickerel right there. Wow. What a hoss. He really had me fooled though. I thought I had the, the trophy walleye there for a second. I really did. Unfortunately. Boy, he knows where the water is. All right. Going back. We're going to see how big this fella is. All right. We're going to measure this bad boy. I said I think I got my record beat. If not, it's at least tied. My gosh, I think I beat it. No, nope, he's only 22. Well, he is fat though, I tell you. Well, I thought I had it for sure. Oh. Totally destroyed my hook. Pretty much ruined my lure. Man. Let's see if I can get another fish. I don't know about this lure. I may have to change it. It's done for. Gonna have to have the hooks replaced. All right, it took me a while, about a half an hour, but I finally got my first slabber. I'm using bobber and minnow. 
And I've just been real patient on this brush pile. And I tell you what, they are slow today. You just got to move it around and find them. He's about 12 inches and it's a black. This is the biggest black I've actually caught out of this lake. All the big ones usually seem to be white. But this is the biggest black I've ever caught out of here. Usually the blacks are only 7 to 8 inches. And the whites are like 8 to 15. So this is kind of nice for here. Alright. So I'm going to keep a lot of them so I can show her when I get home. Have a good dinner tomorrow for lunch. Watch some movies and eat some crappie and hush puppies and macaroni. Yes, sir. I tell you what, it's only about 35 degrees right now. Every time I grab a minnow, it really gets my hand. All right, now that I know where they're at, I might start catching more, maybe. It's not a bad sized one. My goal is to get a 16 inch though. Another crappie, folks. Yes, a little smaller. He's seven inches, maybe. But this is a good sign. I'm just gonna stay right here and be patient. It's hard for me to resist throwing lures, but I'm trying not to. Another black because. They just seem to hit minnows a lot better in this place. I've done real good on lures, but it's smarter just to use minnows and not spook them. Oh yeah, all right, I threw the, that's a bass, I threw the Bobby Garland out while I got the bobber setting there. Unfortunately, it's not a crappie. I'm using an electric chicken, Bobby Garland with an orange jig head. I done messed it up. Folks, my camera was actually dead and I thought it was on, but I just landed a nice three and a half, four pound large mouth here. Got him on the crankbait while I'm letting my bobber and minnow sit out there. It actually bumped the bottom of the water and he nailed it. It's a nice large mouth right there. Man. All right. Let's see if I can get another one. I caught him on a. I'm sorry, this is a bandit. Black and white shad imitation bandit. Crankbait is what I caught him on. They just don't seem to be hitting minnows that great today. Oh yeah, got another monster. Yes. It's a large mouth. Man, that's two back to back, folks. Another three pounder. And yeah. My gosh. All right. Hey, I'll take these since the crappie ain't, crappie ain't cooperating. This one's only about two and a half. He's a little smaller guy, but it's nice. At least I got something worth cleaning now. All right, that's two largemouth within three minutes. First one's about three and a half. This one's about two he's only about two all right 
I actually got something in the bucket worth bragging about though. For a 30 degree day, it's not bad. Oh yeah, folks, big crappie. Oh yeah, they're in this pond. I didn't even know that. And it's a white, finally. He's another 12-incher. Oh, yes. They're starting to bite now. I just caught two bass and a crappie in five minutes. And only caught three fish in five hours before that. Nice 12-inch white crappie. Heck, yeah. One big pickerel. Three crappie. Two of them are decent and two big bass. That's what I'm talking about. Dang, I may not have to go to my third place. I was about getting ready to leave right now. But now, I'm debating to change my mind. Oh, man, it was a big slab, too. Damn. It was another 12 or 13 incher. Gosh. Oh, he got me all screwed up here. Gosh. Man, I don't know how I missed it. I waited till it went under. Another slab. I think. Yes, it is. The black crappie this time. So we got both kinds in here. He's a smaller guy. But hey, boy, they're, they're biting good finally. Four, they really weren't biting. Yeah, he's pretty small. But a crappie nonetheless. Oh yeah, something again, hopefully a crappie. Yeah, it's a bass, I think it's come to the top. It's a pickerel, I think. Yeah, he's hung up in my other line. Good God. Oh good, he got off. I thought this was a big crappie, but it's a bass again. Not a bad one. I'm now using a, I don't know what you even call it, I bought them at Academy. It's a football head. Pink and chartreuse. I'd say it's a two inch tube. And I was actually vertical jigging. Boy, and they got some thin hooks. I was vertical jigging, I'm gonna keep it. And uh, he bit it. Oh yeah, another one. My goodness. Two bass back to back vertical jigging. It's too bad they ain't slabs, but it's fish. I need to stop putting these back because I'll fish this place out real easy. Every bass out here has been over a pound. They're decent. Bad guy. Both about the same, about a pound and a quarter.
Oh yeah, another big bass, I think. Yes, it is. My God. No, it's a big pickerel. Whoa. A monster. Folks, it's another 20 inch or at least. My goodness. I didn't bring my pliers over here. Why would I do that? Oh, I don't think sometimes. Boy, that's a nice pickerel. About the size I had earlier out of the Black River. Oh, yeah. He's 20, 21 at least. My goodness, what a fight. big head and a real small body though. I don't know what the deal with that is. Probably a male. Alright, we're going to get him back in. I'm not going to keep him. It's a beautiful pickerel. I'm going to say he's 20 inches. About 20. Doing pretty good today for it being freezing cold. Oh, it broke my line. Oh my god. There's my lure. Shit. Oh man. Oh, there's no way I can get it. I don't want to get wet. I just bought that damn lure. Son of a gun. Oh, I'm just a couple feet too short. That was a big pickerel. Man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, another pickerel, folks. This is a little smaller, he's only about 16, 17. My gosh, they're going absolutely nuts today. Nothing else really did except bass, but... Oh boy, I hope I can get this without pliers. I don't think so. Oh yeah. Another pickerel. What is the deal with these, man? God, four pickerel in a row, nothing else. Boy, when he really swallowed it, I guess I gotta go. Oh, he inhaled it. I have to go get my pliers. I have no choice. The small guy again, about 16. 16 inches. Well, I have no choice but to take him over here. He really got me. Then what I'm going to do is uh, fish with the minnow just for about 10 minutes and then I'm going home. Had a long day. Four pickerel. Would have been five if the one wouldn't have broke my line. Finally got another big bass. I came back and started fishing with minnows right where I fell in the water. And it didn't even scare him, I guess, because this bass hit. He's another 
three pounder. All right, yes, yeah, nice bass, man. Oh yeah. All right. Oh, another bass. Man. Can't get the crappie, but I can sure get these bass today. That's my fifth one over two and a half pounds. It's another. This one's about three and a half, four pounds. My gosh. Oh, yeah. I changed my mind. He's three. Still nice. Yeah, another three pounder. Why? Wow. Boy, they're biting good now, right before dark. A live minnow once again. That is my fifth bass I've kept. There we go. Yes. Now they're crappie. Right before it's time to go. Hopefully I can get two or three more. It's another black crappie. Just barely a keeper. It's a beauty. Right in them weeds is where he's hiding. Weed line there on the edge of the lake. to go home. We had a be really beautiful sunset here. <sighs> All right, folks. I'm getting back in the car.